It's the Cool Kids Club. You've been invited to the Cool Kids Club. It's so exciting, yeah. Justin likes monsters, yeah. And Amy likes words in the Cool Kids Club. Cool, cool Kids Club. Hey, everyone, and welcome to the Cool Kids Club podcast. This is episode 24. Um, and my name is Amy. I am one of your hosts. Uh, I'm your other host, and my name is Justin. How are you doing, Amy? Hi. Well, I am doing all right. I am. Uh, I have been sick for the last about five or six days. Not COVID, thankfully. Um, so we, we've had to put off uh, recording for a little bit because I didn't have much of a voice. But other than than being being uh, under the weather... I have otherwise been okay. How how about you? Oh, great. How, how's it going? Yeah. Just great. I'm so excited to... Uh, I love when we do toy episodes. Yeah, toy episodes are great. Especially because and I really genuinely don't since... know the history of... Of uh, a lot of toys. Of these, so a, a lot of this yeah. info is, is new to me, and, and I love doing these toy episodes. Yeah. Uh, the last one we did was Polly Pocket and mm-hmm. her friend Lolly Locket. Little <laughs> um, <laughs> Lolly. Our good friend Jamie uh, mentioned to me that she thinks about Lolly Lockett a lot, and it makes her laugh. And I was oh, like, good. "Well, I'm glad." Well, it makes we'll, me laugh we'll too. keep we'll keep bringing her up. And you and I bring up Lolly Lockett a lot. We do. It, we do. We do bring up Lolly Lockett. Yeah, um, just in our regular lives, our day to day, she comes up a lot. Yeah, just really. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, but we're not here to talk about Lolly Lockett or we're Polly not. Pocket or no. Any other, or any of her pi- many miniature friends, right? Right. What are we here to talk about today, Ooh. Amy? We're here to talk about pogs. Pogs. Um, and now you could spell that P O G S or P A W G S. Um, pogs. Pogs. <laughs> that is that I mean something else. No, Should maybe. I Google it? <laughs> Urban Dictionary. Oh. Oh no! Oh no! And actually, Urban you can't Dick- spell it that way because if you had read the notes, you would know that P O G actually stands for something. <laughs> oh, um, just kidding, everyone. Um, P A W G stands for fat ass white girl. Uh huh. So, um, uh, really, I didn't know that. <laughs> um, and now that is fat with a P, of course. Well, sure. Um. A, a nice round onion butt is what Urban Dictionary <laughs> says. Now, see, I thought so an onion actually, butt was a butt so good it made you cry. Well, that's that was the impression ground, I was under. I love how Urban Dictionary will put it in a sentence for you, like it's a fucking spelling bee. I really appreciate it. Uh-huh. Um, What's the sentence? So, actually, guys, you can say it like "pow." Just to be funny, but don't spell it that way. Um, yeah, I don't know where that came wrong. from. Because I thought it was funny, and I like to say daug like that. So, <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Um, I just assumed I didn't know that P-A-W-G was something sexual. Because I'm innocent, Well, Justin. Yeah, I mean, okay. And naive. Um, well, yeah. Uh, but we're not talking about fat-ass white girls today, Maybe in another episode. Um, That'll be uh, Cool Kids Club After Dark. After Dark. Um, Actually, we're talking about Pogs. We are talking Um, about Pogs. And Justin, did you... uh, Did we have Pogs? Did we have Pogs? What was that? (laughs) (laughs) Did we have Pogs? Uh, Did we have Pogs? Yes, I had Pogs. I know, did... I have... In fact... I have my pogs, what is remaining of my pogs from my childhood, sitting right in front of me uh, oh because my God. I was you still have them. Yep, I was taking pictures for social media, which by the time uh, people are hearing this, I probably will have already posted. Okay, yeah. You know, so I've got my my pog holder. Oh, yep, sitting right in front familiar. of me. I only have yep. one slammer remaining, uh, but it is a goosebump slammer. Oh Jesus! Yeah, um, that's the most you thing ever. Yeah. And I'm sure by the time you're hearing this, the pictures uh, will be on social media. So so check those out. Oh, so yeah, I have yeah. my pogs. Not only did I have pogs, I still do. So there wow. you go. Now, did you play I... pogs a lot? Did, was that a thing for you? 
Um, I don't think I played Pogs a lot. I do think I had a small set of Pogs. I have a very um, vivid memory of, um, I think it, I think it was right after we moved here. Um, and we, I had gone to like, maybe like church with someone from school or something like that, or we were somewhere and, um, just a bunch of kids were like hanging out outside kind of, uh, and playing pogs with, uh, some of those kids. And so that's the only time I really remember, but I do think I had my own like little set okay. of them, or maybe I was just playing with yours when you and I would play. Now I very distinctly I remember. Pl- I remember the playground area at mm. Kings Highway Elementary. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, so maybe it wasn't circa. Were... I'm gonna guess 1994. I'm it's gonna say year. it was a good year. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Lot going on that year. Undertaker ascended to heaven <laughs> that year. <laughs> <laughs> I marked. Right, I marked time by uh, 90s wrestling events. <laughs> um no i remember very distinctly um being in the playground at uh recess at king's highway elementary and uh playing pogs under like like kind of under this now was there kind of like a unofficial designated pog playing area like everybody knew well that's where you went and played pogs no i don't think so i remember going off to like a like a walkway like a covered walkway area so you're on okay. concrete, so you can stack them. Oh, so you can stack them. Yeah, because you got to stack them. You can't like you can't it play on it on grass. grass. No. So no. I remember going over there, and there would yeah. we would like hang out in a group and play. And see, when I remember playing, I remember being like in like a breezeway of some kind. So again, <laughs> a breezeway. Like that's what you uh, do. Yeah, in breezeways, like, uh, right? You play. Well, you, you play pogs for a few years. It was pogs, and then it was hacky sacks, and it probably still is oh, hacky sacks. Yeah. I assume. Yeah, I don't what hang out in a whole lot of breezeways. Youths, what are the youths doing? Are you still hacky in that sack around? Oh, um, man. You know, you know they're, they're you they're know. probably pogs are back because they have everything that they want everything pogs that we are had not twenty years ago. Pogs so. are not really back. But um, no. before we get further on into pog conversation, uh, if you don't remember or have never pog played pogs, the <laughs> the pog conversation, the pog conversation, if you will, if you mm-hmm. will, and I do, and you do will, mm-hmm. um. Tell us what the hell pogs are for those for those not in the know. Okay, so yeah, you all might be wondering what the hell a what pog is. What the hell is? are yeah. you assholes talking what about? Are you, what are you all talking about? You tell me so, to spell it one way. Now you're telling me don't spell it that way. That it's yeah, sexy. Don't spell it, it that way. Well, I mean, you can, but it it's going to get misconstrued as something else. It is too sexy. And um, pogs, P-O-G-S, is sexy enough. P- P-O-G-S. It is. Um, so a pog is like a small circular cardboard, like milk cap, basically. Yep. Um, and to play it, you would stack them. They would have different designs and things like that, different themes. Um, but they were just like basically little cardboard circles. And um, you'd stack them up and then you had what was called a slammer. And it was... Also a little circle, but it was not made of cardboard. It was heavier. It was usually made of some kind of, what, like a metal or... There were metal ones. There were, I think... I guess you could, like, a hard plastic there were one, hard, maybe. Well, most of them, I think, were hard plastic, but you could get okay. metal ones. Okay. Um, and you would drop the slammer onto your stack of pogs. Um, and now, would the pogs be face down or face up? So the pogs would be, you're trying to, the goal is to, the goal is to flip the pogs. So you, you stack them face down. Okay. Yeah. So you stack them face down. Right. And then the goal is to drop the slammer on them Mm -hmm. and flip as many as you can. That's right. And then. Now was there, was there a rule on like how many you stacked? Not that I'm aware of. No. So. You are you're you're hitting them with the slammer, and I guess you'd go back and forth. You're cracking like them. Each, you're cracking them. You're good. cracking them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, if you and I were playing, would we each have our slammer? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we could okay. we could share one, or we could each have yeah. our own. You know, probably because if you're a serious you, pogger, you probably yeah. have your go to slammers. For yeah. your, like a golfer <laughs> has different clubs for different situations. Yes. Uh huh. I assume yeah. you have like a satchel. 
that you like maybe if you get if you get down to slammers in there yeah like if you got down to only like eight pogs instead of a big stack maybe you want to use a different slammer if it's just like a little short stack you got to use the putter yeah yeah exactly Mm -hmm. um it's exactly okay so yeah it is it is exactly it's basically golf um so you try to flip them over and now here's the thing you'd lose your pogs Yes, and this, yeah, that, and it that became is, a an issue of contention, as we will yes, see uh, in the later on. community. But yeah, I mean, the the, the idea of the game is, yeah, it, which is a game like you know you had schoolyard games like that that were kind of like you play for keeps, like you right. know marbles is like that, or like uh-huh. like tiddlywinks. I think going back, you know, okay. even further, yeah. That's like that too. You kind of play for keeps, but yeah, your right. your goal is to flip as many as you can, and the ones you flip, you keep, and then right. you go, you keep going until there aren't any left unflipped. Yeah, and then the person who has the most wins, and that's basically yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, um, and so you don't play with a pog unless you're willing to lose it, because yeah, yeah, there was always it's, a it, it is lo- it's basic it's kitty gambling. It is, is what yeah. it is, and, yeah. and that and that became a big issue uh, when it became uh, popular. Did parents get upset about that? It was causing a lot. Well, we'll see. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. Oh, oh God. Okay. Oh my, my God. Before the horse. Okay. Lord. Well, so we now we got into what... the origins because here's the thing: pogs were a big thing in the '90s. It's the reason we're talking about the yes. on this nostalgia show. But uh, the game itself has origins going way 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 back um now on this podcast we mostly talk about the 90s the 80s uh the mm-hmm. aughts a bit and that's kind yeah. of you know the idea but i'm really excited because we're gonna get finally into the um retro nostalgia of the mm-hmm. edo period in japan oh which lasted great. from 6, 1603 that? till 1867 oh perfect i've been ho- i've been like waiting for there's us about to be a lot of Edo period with, content on our yeah. social media. Great, great. I can't wait. Yeah, um, can't wait. Yeah, this is the era of like <laughs> the the of like samurai culture, and and okay. yeah, uh, very insular. Japan is Japan is uh, very very they've self isolated basically from the rest of the world for several okay. hundred years, and stayed extremely insular. insular and mm-hmm. uh, during this period is... Um, they got bored. They, <laughs> they had to come up with some games. Yeah. Them <laughs> islands are tiny, I imagine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so they, <laughs> the origins of what, what we would consider Pogs go all the way back to this time period uh, with a game called Menko, um, which mm, is the same okay. kind of idea. Um, obviously, they didn't have plastic or cardboard. They probably didn't have Goosebumps ones. The, I mean, if I were to guess, maybe the really early Goosebumps ones. Yeah, <laughs> you know, maybe some Fear Street, but prob- maybe probably some not Fear much. Street. Not much. Yeah, not no, much. Probably not a lot. So they used like pieces of ceramic or wood or clay, but I mean the idea was still the same. You you stack yeah. them, you flip them, and you know, it's, yeah, it's just it's a play for keeps. It's a game thing. anybody can play. Like, yeah, you do not like. There are basically no rules. <laughs> anyone can yeah, yeah, it. it's very anyone can just play like it. one rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Um, okay, so all right. Later on in the uh, Meiji era, yes, I'm getting in several Japanese oh. historical era um, I, nostalgia. Pfft. Actually, uh, yeah, it's super super interesting. But uh, oh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, later on in the uh, Meiji era, once the uh, Edo period ended, um, the game sort of continued with by this point uh, cardboard. Yeah. And plastic pieces. Plastic, yeah. Yeah. And actually these... And so they started making cards with, like... Oh. Like, cultural icons on them. Oh, that's so fun. Like, okay. like, heroes from stories. And I actually had... Uh, I actually saw it referenced wrestlers. Um, <laughs> like, oh, God. Like, Japanese yeah. wrestlers. Um, where they would... Uh, they would have them on the cards. And that this is actually the origin of trading cards. Okay, I was about to say, so it's like a trading card, basically. Yeah, it's essentially a trading card. And that's kind of what Pogs were, in a sense. Yes, sort of. But it was a game, also. Uh Uh-huh. But, like, you know, I mean, that's basically what it was. You had all these different, like, designs and things and themes. 
you know. And right. As we have discussed, Goosebumps was uh, branded on everything. Oh yeah. Um, so they definitely had Pogs. Oh, I wonder if there's like Babysitters Club Pogs. Probably not. There were Seems Pogs like a... for every. As we will oh, see. As we yeah. will see, there were Pogs for anything and everything. Had now, have you already gone on eBay and to see what like a lot of Pogs would would run you? I mean, no. I haven't, well, but I'm guessing you're going to do it since I'm we're recording to. our audio show right now. Yes. Okay. Well, so I'll definitely... just be quiet while you do that just... then. No, no, no. continue. No. Continue, please. I'll Tell t- us about Pogs. I'll take a break. Oh. I'm going to take a sip Listen. of my Diet Dr. Pepper. A lot uh... of 100 Pogs, 16 bucks. So this game comes uh, actually over to Hawaii with mm-hmm. Japanese immigrants in the early 20th century, like up okay. through yeah, the 50s, and they're using these milk caps to yeah. these round uh, cardboard milk mm-hmm. caps that come on bottles and using those to play. So this is this is a big Hawaiian thing, basically. That's oh, a kind of a cultural okay. a Japanese cultural thing that's brought over. Okay. Um, but by the fifties, they're not really they're not making milk. They're not packaging milk that way anymore. Yeah, exactly. So the caps yeah. are kind of obsolete. But these uh, companies um, sometimes will use them as promotional items. Uh-huh. Um, for new drinks. And one of those companies is one we're going to hear a couple times. Uh, they're called the Halik- Halikala Dairy. I believe is okay. how you pronounce it. Okay. Halikala Dairy uh-huh. um, are one of the companies that would distribute Pogs. And in 1971, they create a drink, yeah. uh, a tropical juice drink called Pog. Okay. Because they weren't called Pogs prior to this. No, they were it just. It was still they Manko were just like or some kind milk of caps, form of basically. That. Yeah, you would call them a milk game. cap or something. Yeah, yeah. So they create a tropical juice drink called mm. Pog, and they name it Pog after the three ingredients that are in the drink, which is passion fruit, oh. orange, and guava. So that's so this what is Pog stands can't, for. It can't be called Pog. It can't be called Pog. No, okay. Because okay. it's I not understand. made of fat ass white girls, it's made of passion fruit. Uh, orange it and been, guava. It could have been passion fruit, apples, um, <laughs> watermelon, g- watermelon, and guava. I was and, like, and give guava. me a fruit with a W. Like I could not think of that. <laughs> Oof. Oof. So Pog the drink uh, was created by Mary Sue. That sounds delicious, by the way. It does sound delicious. I really want to try mm. one. I want um, a Pog. I know, right? So they they manufactured caps to Pogs. Okay. Pog milk caps to yeah. promote the drink, and that ended up being a big success. This is the early seventies, yeah. so it kind of leads to like a revival a little bit. Okay. And so when you flash forward to the nineties, yeah. And in nineteen ninety one, um, Halikala expanded to Oahu. I hope I'm pronouncing right. all this correctly. If we have any Hawaiian listeners, and um, they're really seeing like a lot of success. And all of this, and the 90s revival of the game okay. is credited to uh, a teacher at Waialua Elementary School in Oahu. Okay. And her name is Blossom Gal- Galbiso. That is a beautiful name. Blossom Galbiso. I hope I'm pronouncing all that correctly. A teacher at Waialua Elementary School. Uh, so she introduced the game to okay. her class because she used to play it with her grandparents as a, ki- as a kid. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> and she did it as a way. Um, she start well. It started as like a recess thing, like she yeah. was trying to find like a kind of a non-violent alternative to like kickball. Uh, that's oh, that like a game that, okay. someone can, that people can sit around and do. Um, oh, interesting. And then she started. It got really popular with her class. Yeah. And she started incorporating it into her curriculum and like teaching using it to teach math with oh, with the- hogs. Okay, okay. So this is, we can, this is all, it's all down to Blossom as far as yeah. the 90s. Like, honestly, the, the 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 Pog explosion of the 90s yeah. um, can be traced to this one lady in an elementary school in Hawaii. That's wild. She introduced it to her class, and then it, like, took off and pretty much, like, then it was like, everyone in the school's playing it, and they're taking it oh, home, and now okay, everyone else is playing okay. it, and it just, goes from there and just starts snowballing and there's like like there's like a small 
Canadian packaging company called like Stan yeah. Pack Incorporated um, uh-huh. that made the caps for Holly Cala Dairy. Um, okay, f- yeah, and for they the drink. S- yeah, and they found themselves like producing millions and millions of these things because Holly Cala is o- ordering. Ton, yeah. tons of them because all of a sudden this game is really really we've, popular. We got a lot of pog demand. We got we got pog demand is high. It's out the hizzy, yeah. And you know that it's only a matter of time before yeah. that shit gets off that island. Oh yeah, and gets to the mainland, just like on Gilligan's Island when they do finally get off. I think I don't remember how it happens. <laughs> Do they at the end of the... They do, surely. The I remember the show, there was right? a movie where they like had a raft or something and got rescued. But Is I there know. a movie? Interesting. Yeah. I don't know that I've ever seen that. Well, that is really... That's a cool little bit of history there on, on the Pog. Oh, um, yeah. And now I want to make a Pog, like the drink. Yes. Well, Justin, we'll have to make our own Pog drink. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It, yeah. I mean, it may still be Could available. I, I don't know. Oh man, let's get a ship it uh, ship a box of pog from Hawaii. I'm sure that's not expensive. Nah, it'll be fine. Okay, so Blossom brings back this game, and now it's being called Pogs. Well, that um, kind of becomes the shorthand for it. That becomes the shorthand because right. the main things people originally are it with was are... the pog caps. Yes, and people are yes. using those. Yes, because that's what they started using in her classroom. Yes. Okay, so so Pogs absolutely explodes in the early 90s. So by 1993... Um, it's obviously, it's not just in Hawaii anymore. It's reached the mainland. It starts showing up in California, Texas, Oregon, Washington, you know, all along the coast there. And then, of course, into the rest of the country. Um, so as the popularity grew, you have this businessman, and his name is Alan Rapinski. Um, and he purchased that POG trademark. Now, there's some From, contention here. He kind of, I think oh, he kind of swindled the trademark okay. a little bit. Because as we'll so see, Holly Dairy makes, like, no money off of the Pog are craze. Are you serious? Yeah. Of, of course. Because he comes oh. in and buy, and gets the trademark. Alan oh, Rapinski. Shit. And then Rapinski. founds, I'm not shitting you, Amy, the World okay. Pog Federation. What the hell? The World Pog Federation. It's uh, it's like the World Wrestling Federation or the World Bodybuilding Federation. So I guess the World Pog Federation and Canada Games Company were sort of at the forefront at that point. So they started creating like their own tournaments. Oh, this was like uh, a big for, thing. It's like a whole thing. Yeah. They had a mascot. Pogman. Pogman. Which I have a picture yeah. of in the notes. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that. that it's on social media. Yeah, definitely. Pogman um, is not doesn't really look like a man or a pog or a pog. <laughs> it's, um, it's like a ball of hair. Like he looks like uh, what's that, Doctor Seuss? Like a Lorax, he looks kind of Loraxy. Yeah. Um, he has human teeth, and I don't appreciate <laughs> it. Big giant human teeth. Big giant like human like, teeth. Arms, um, human arms and legs sticking out of. A kind of cousin. Are those cousin human? I mean, are those human feet? They're very. They look like Neanderthal, like very long. Well, that's a human kind of bony. Well, I know that, but mm, I mean, kind of. I we don't know what he is. I mean, I guess I don't know what the hell in. this little monstrosity is supposed to be. Big yeah. purple eggplant nose. Yeah, I don't, whiskers. I don't like he has that. whiskers. What is he? Ugh. He's an abomination. Look at his eyebrows. This is ex- audio medium, and oh, no one's getting I anything know. out of this. <laughs> Tell you what, go pull up a picture of Pogman yeah. on yeah, Google, go do it and right then now. rewind I'm sure thirty Justin seconds. Has posted it and, on our yeah, but uh, just Google media. it if you if you can't. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, and listen to me talk shit about this little uh, de- this little demon, this little Pog <sighs> demon. It is a little demon. He is exactly those teeth, Justin. I don't. 
I don't like them. Yeah. So they um, they create a pog. They're demon. very they're very unsettling. They they yeah they create this demon. Yeah. They and summon. He him. lures the children lures. Um, to their tournaments. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, and so <laughs> so in this, um, you know, obviously this guy this is like a money making scheme for this guy i mean he's like oh I've really... hey listen he saw an opportunity he saw an opportunity i guess scheme's not the right word but like this was a huge opportunity yes for him to make money so he was like i'm gonna give any company the license to make pog. like whoever wants to make pogs like uh so he... the movie the mask you want some pogs sure <laughs> so here's like Here's where it gets Anything. weird. So Pog is kind of like like Kleenex or Jello yeah. or Band Aid, where it's like those are the names it's... of particular products. Like Jello of is brands. a brand name. It's a brand. Um, but we call it Jello whether it's Jello brand or not. Right. Pogs is the same way. Yeah. There is a name brand Pog. Oh, but okay. then all the rest of these, we just call them all pogs because they're the same thing. There's their cardboard milk cap things. Okay. So old, so okay. old Ali, old Al Rapinski starts giving out yeah. licenses, like they're fucking candy. I mean, basically anyone who was willing yeah. to pay up got one. So yeah, and the, and exactly. this is when it the the the, the pog explosion. Oh, yeah. Yes, the pog explosion begins. I would say ninety four, ninety five. Is, yeah, is the, is the P, Pog, it, yeah. Pogamania was running wild, yeah, in the schoolyard as I've atte- mm-hmm. as I can attest to. Yes, yeah, you know, absolutely. At this point, uh, from 1993, they begin to have a U.S. National Pog tournament. Oh my god! Like the national. Can you one. imagine the goons who went to a Pog tournament? <sighs> yes, I'm imagining them right now. And you now. know that it was definitely not just like ten and under kids. Like you definitely had adults who were going to the Pog tourneys and trying to, and then getting like butt hurt when the kids beat. And them. they're like, um, "I want to believe," t-shirts and stuff. Yes. One hundred percent. I'm sorry if you. That's what was going on in 1993. Yeah. But that is, yeah, that's one hundred. What was going on in the world, man? We were playing Pogs and watching the X Files. We were. We were. I was doing. I was a kid. (laughs) That I was. We were doing both of those things exactly. So yeah. So in '93 they start this national Pog tournament, um, and they do that for several years till 1997. Um, But that gives you an an early indication right there. Of yeah. what a flash in the pan this is going to be. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, and that's the thing is, it, it did feel like as soon as it was there, it was gone. Yes. Um, it was very much a fad. Very much just like a passing trend. And and it hasn't come back. Um, no. And we'll talk about the legacy of the Pog. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, Gen Z and and Younger, uh, you know, they, they do... They're they're on the '90s and aughts train as as all generations are interested in things from 20 years before them. Um, they could bring the pog back. The power, they have the, the power. power is with you, Gen Zers. The power is within you, children. If you want to bring the pog back, I can't do it. I'm too old. It's not cool if I do it. Right. It's sad if we. It's do sad. It. It's sad. Um, yeah, but I mean. You could get your. What are some things the kids like, Justin? That they could have. I don't pogs know. For I don't know. That's um, why I do a podcast about things from thirty years ago. Like uh, Fortnite. There's some. There's some. Do they still like that? Um, Minecraft. You're the one that works in uh, schools. Yeah, that's true. I don't know what they like. I don't know what they want. Um, I mean, just <laughs> what do you want, just children? Anything from anything that was they on like TikTok. Marvel. They like TikTok. They like. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What is the key to you all? I don't. Under, I don't know what you like. I don't really, it's all over the place. I don't really care either. Well, that's true. But I care if they'll bring the pog back or not. So I'm just waiting to see if they're going to bring it back. Okay. Because it was. It was a flash in the pan. Um. But so were those really tiny uh, sunglasses, and they've brought those back. So I mean, anything's possible, Justin. There you go. Anything's possible. Um, 
So what else happened uh, during Pogamania other than a national tournament? All right. Well, you had all these different companies, basically, because they had the Pog trademark. But you had all these other companies like Marvel. um, Yeah. Made Hero Caps. um, Skybox International made Sky Caps. I've got Hero Caps. I was going to say Sky Sky Caps. That's very familiar to me. Sky Caps. Yeah, I had some of those. Yeah. Um, Listen to these numbers. 1994. Okay. 350 million pogs are sold in the United States. In California alone, they generated $10 million a week in sales in 1994. Oh my god. So Pogamania that's, is running that's shocking. wild. That is shocking. <laughs> that's shocking. And here's the thing about pogs, and here is one of the reasons why it was a flash in the pan, mm-hmm. uh, but why it burned like so brightly <laughs> when, yeah. for the short time it did. Because yeah. you could get pogs for anything. Anything. Anything you could think of. Um, any brand, any mm-hmm. business, any mm-hmm. sort of entertainment, TV show, movie, yep. uh, musician, sports, any kind of famous personality, uh, athletes, uh-huh. politicians, rock star. Anybody. I bet there were like Rodney Dangerfield pogs. Guarantee there's Rodney Dangerfield pogs. Uh, and, oh, you know, he gets get no eBay. respect. And he gets no respect. No respect. Put it, on, put it on a pog. And why is this the case? It's well, it's because pogs are super cheap because they're just little cardboard cylinders. They're pieces they're of super cardboard. Easy to make. They're basically yeah. little tiny ad spaces, and you could yep. get a bunch of them. And you had places just get them and give them out. So I compiled a little list. Oh man. Um, of just some some examples, but I'm sure there's plenty of stuff I'm not even going to mention here. Um, of what you could find if you were looking for pogs. Uh, fast food was one of the first... Fast food had, I, I think, a really big impact on how popular it got so quickly because they were mm-hmm. they jumped on the pog game really early. Um, were they putting them like Happy Meal? Yep. So like basically yeah. and they were just getting them and you would get them for free. Like you ordered a Happy Meal, oh, you get a pog in there. So okay. McDonald's, it wasn't even, Burger yeah. King, okay. Taco Bell, Taco Bell, Del Taco. Mm-hmm. Um, all these different. Fast I've never foods. seen a Del. Do they, it, does Del Taco still exist, Justin? I think it's mostly out west. I believe. Is it a West Coast thing? Okay, I, so. I was gonna say I've never seen a Del Taco. I think it's a West Coast thing. Maybe I could okay. be wrong about that. Okay. Um, any food or drink brand you could possibly think of. Oh yeah, you yeah, know any Coke, kind of Doritos, any of that. Kool Aid. Ha- I mean, anything. Any f- yeah. any food or drink brand. Any big movie or TV show you can possibly mm-hmm. imagine. Mm-hmm. And actually, I thought it was interesting. The very first TV show to use Pogs uh, to as a promotional thing was, yeah. was The Tick on Fox. Oh, yeah. I loved The Tick. That seems like a good... Com- that seemed very telling of the time. Yep. Like the Tick a Pogs. Po- the, the Tick Pogs. Yep. That's... Um, that is only something that would exist in like 1995 yep. or whatever. Uh, sports. Obviously, any any... Mm-hmm. Any sports personality you could possibly think of. Yeah. Uh, sports teams, of course. Uh, wrestlers. Uh, they had wrestling pogs, oh, yeah. of course. Do you have um, wrestling pogs? I, you know, I don't. Ooh. I don't, but I should. Do you have some, like, Batman Forever pogs? No. The the pro- the crown and jewel of my pog collection is uh, the Goosebumps ones. The Goosebumps slam. Oh, okay. Uh, well, okay. I have the whole Goosebumps collection. Oh. Like, all, all the ones they made. And the books that came with them they were like special mm-hmm. books that had like games and stuff in them oh he fancy y'all i'm fancy it'll he all be fancy. on social it'll be now, on the socials now i see this here in the notes um of course any any famous person politician mm-hmm. athlete actors oj simpson well now that let that me was ask 94 95 that was about oh, the biggest thing happening in the world okay so that's my question and oj simpson pog was not a OJ Simpson as an actor or OJ Simpson as a footballer. Well, here's the thing. We're I talking about that, the, the, that we're right in that sweet spot where there was probably OJ Simpson football player pogs. And okay. then not long after that, we're getting him behind bars in the slammer. Get it? Because oh, that's an easy joke. Boy. Um, yeah. So yeah, OJ Simpson, I'm sure they had, all, they probably had a whole OJ oh, Simpson. Oh my. Nicole Brown Simpson, Ron Oh Goldman my set. god. I'm theorizing that, but probably. Could you imagine nowadays having like a toy 
that was themed around a popular murder case happening. Yes, like I can. Absolutely, I can. Like a Casey Anthony Barbie doll. These aren't Barbie dolls. I know that's These a few aren't Barbie years dolls. Ago, but I'm talking... <laughs> this isn't the brand that Barbie is. <laughs> but, okay, a doll then. A doll, not Casey a Bar- but- Barbie That's one of the... That's a, that's a fucked up... <laughs> <laughs> no, we would absolutely do this today. Are you kidding me? We sensationalize. It wouldn't everything. be Mattel. It would not be Mattel. Well, no. Would, I mean, I'm but, not saying Mattel is the one making OJ th- Simpson pogs in 1995. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's just that's bizarre. Yeah. I mean, I know that we as a society we do love our true crime, but we do. It's in- it's interesting putting a uh, that on a toy. Yeah. Well, I but, mean, but the, again, but, these weren't just kids doing it. Yeah, that's true. Well, and you see down here, though, uh, in 1995, the Roman Catholic Church orders 50,000 pogs with the Pope's face on them. So, you know what? I guess yeah, po- Pope pogs. Just anything goes, right? Pope it pogs. was an advertising tool, right? You get a shitload of them made really cheaply and you give them away. Yeah. You know? They were for giving out to like, people, to ministering to the youths, if you will. Because the the on leather wings thing, the, that song wasn't wasn't yeah. selling at the time. No, yeah, apparently yeah. not. Now, do you think that um, in <laughs> do you think that like instead of the wafer when people were taking like oh my god the Eucharist that it was like a pope pug. <laughs> <laughs> they would lay the Pope Pog on your tongue. <laughs> That's two episodes in a row where we have uh, brought up the Catholic Church uh-huh. and parodied the Catholic Church. You know what? We're coming for you. Fine. I don't even yeah. care. I don't it's even right. care. I saw that movie. You know that? I know what's up. That's right. I saw Spotlight. Spotlight. I know what's yeah, going see, on. I can even remember the name of it, yep. but I saw it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we know what's going up. back to pogs. Uh, um, go- <laughs> I just keep thinking about putting a pope pog on someone's tongue instead now, of see, those little what's, dissolvable Okay, wafers. what's funnier, that or putting God. pogs on someone's eyes after they die, <laughs> like coins? God, both are great. Will you do that for me after I die? If yeah, I, if I go I before you, put some mm-hmm. put some pogs over my. Well, eyes. I'm gonna kill you. So okay. well, if as long as you put pogs over my me. eyes. Okay. Way, hell hell now, knows a slammer's I'll coming. Go- I'll I'll pick goosebump ones. Okay. Don't All worry. Right. Werewolf of Fever Swamp, please. Okay. okay. All right. I was gonna say if you have favorites, let me know now. Well, spe- going back to pogs, <laughs> theme parks, <laughs> yes. Disneyland had go pog oh, wild. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! How have we not? How is that not the title of this episode? It can be. It's not too late. Go We're pog still recording wi- it. Wild. Wild Pogs. Wild Pogs. <laughs> that was that movie with Tim Allen. Wild uh-huh. Pogs. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Yep. Pog Wild. Going Pog. <laughs> now that's a different Going movie. Going Pog Wild. Pog Wild is a very po- different movie. <laughs> oh, Pog. Yeah. Pog Wild. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah, basically mm-hmm. anything you could possibly think of. Comic. Comics. Obviously, oh, books. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, Marvel, Any DC, kind of all that. Video yeah. games. Okay, here's one I thought was funny. I put I okay. put in the notes. Yeah. I, this is me reading word for word. Weird stuff like opening a bank account. And like, when I went and like, through when I went through my pogs that I have sitting right here earlier today when I took pictures for social media, I actually do have a pog from some bank. Uh Oh my god. Yeah, so those were the I ones you're playing like, with. You're like, get rid of these stupid. I, m- I must bank have pogs. Uh, subconsciously remembered having a pog from some credit union from Florida from the '90s. Oh, that is so weird. Yeah. Oh, uh, did you have any of the like? Um, do you remember how they did public service ones? Like, like, like dare, like dare there or were a something. Lot of dare. Yeah, dare ones uh-huh. or like, like yeah. fire safety or. Like Smokey the Bear, kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, just like... Pu- yeah. Ooh, do you think there were any Louis the Lightning Bug I ones? guarantee it. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, Justin, you you shit. gotta play it safer on electricity. You gotta play it safe. You gotta. You just, you You've just gotta. gotta. Get, you gotta, kids. You just... You, gotta, you literally just you have to. do it. <laughs> 
you know, we started this podcast earlier. We are punchier now than we hopes, normally are. Yes, in hopes that we would be less punchy. Uh-huh. Uh, and it has not I st- worked. I stand it, by I it. Think, I stand by it. I stand by it. This is a this good is a podcast. Good show. I stand by it. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, if you could uh, shrink an image uh, down, uh, you could put it on a pog. Do you, do you ever? Do you remember like how they started doing like hologram ones? There'd be like oh, I love the hologram pog. Holograms. Yes. Or, oh yeah. Yes. I definitely have some Look. hologram. I have some like mm. Marvel hologram ones where it's like the character Ooh. but then like the background yeah. is like a different kind of hologram. is like hologram yeah there was a lot of hologram stuff in the 90s and it, it, it's all awesome like and into like the very early 2000 that like futuristic yeah, yeah. we were talking about like some of those goosebumps uh, yeah the lenticular books you had with the ho- yeah mm-hmm. with the hologram anything covers. lenticular mm. anything hologram love it all love it now so, so we have Pogmania. It's running wild. It's running wild. It's running Pog. Yeah, wild. not just in the U.S. It's all over the place. It's it's all over the place, right? It's a worldwide but it is, phenomenon. It is short lived, but though. like, like, uh, you know, like a candle, like a candle, in, the candle in the wind. That is what I was trying to think of. <laughs> <laughs> You're but welcome. Like a candle in the wind. Uh-huh. Uh. It was. It was not to be for long. It was no. No, no it was not it, to it, last. It, it, it burned fast and bright. Yeah. Um, Beautiful. To no surprise to anyone, after just hearing all of the things that were put on pogs, there was an oversaturation in the market of pogs. No, you're kidding. You gotta be shitting me. You've no, got they to made, be joking me. Justin, they made too many fucking pogs. There's just so. There's so many. They were so easy to make. They were so cheap. Literally everything. I mean, do you know how many actors they them? probably made pogs of before they got to Ronnie Dangerfield, who I assume they did have a pog of? I'm just There's assuming so many. that he had pogs. Well, I mean, he did that, like, Ladybugs movie around that time, right? There's probably Ladybugs pogs. I don't know. That was probably in the 80s. Jonathan Brandis on I don't them. Know. I don't know. I don't know. I was watching it in the 90s. I don't know when it was made. So there's I the, the, But the point there's is there's too many. Too many there's pogs. Too many fucking pogs. Everywhere's pogs. Yeah. Everywhere you go, there's getting pogs. Pogs, 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 pogs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, it's if you many. pronounce it like that, that's a good thing. But if you're talking about little cardboard circles, it's a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there are like three things that kind of lead to the downfall of, of yeah, the pogs. Okay. The rapid. Mm-hmm. Which it it, it, Decline. it declines about as fast as it as it ascends to popularity. Yeah, uh, oversaturation yeah. of course is the first one of those. There's just too many. Mm-hmm. Um, like no one's using their Billy Baldwin pogs. You know they don't. Right. Yeah. I don't. I don't need. You know. I don't even have the full set of all the Baldwins. So. Yeah. I mean, what's you know. the point if you're not going to have all of them? What's the point if you don't have the full set? Exactly. You got to have all the Baldwin pogs. You just have to. You just have to. You just have to. Well, and what else just kills? Like, what else kills popular things? It schools. Um, schools always do it. Well, yeah, parents getting involved. Parents. Yeah. And so, well, this see, this is an instance I think particularly with schools, because like we kind of alluded to in the beginning, this is essentially gambling for kids. Yeah. Um, because you yeah. are playing for keeps. I guess you could not play for keeps, but that was sort of the game. Is. That was that the was whole point. Sort of yeah. the whole point of the game. So this sort of led to a lot of distractions and a lot of fights in classrooms and in schoolyards. Oh boy. And did you ever witness any pog fights? I don't recall witnessing any uh, any uh, uh, pog throwdowns. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, I could see. So that of course sure. this you know this starts up. Schools are pissed off. Parents get pissed off. Next thing you know, schools are banning them. So, uh, you know, yeah, schools and, and that was like, if schools are banning them, I mean, that was probably where 90% of pog playing was happening. Yeah. That's where they were reintroduced into. Well, that, that's the thing is they're so small and so, lightweight, you carry them around with them. You know, yeah. you're go, it, it, you know, in 1993, 94, you're going home and playing Super Nintendo or something <laughs> like you're not playing pogs at yeah. home. Probably like all right. the, something you do if at pogs school. is something you... You go into with your at school because you're trading with your friends and stuff like that. So. Right. So, well, like once yeah. schools start banning them, which happens in a lot of countries, um, that's kind of yeah. the the end of the road. Uh, and, and then piggybacking on top of this problem of this mm-hmm. kind of backlash um, of it being 
uh, essentially gambling and, and sort of the yeah. the sort of stigma around that uh holly Kala dairy which had uh lost out on all the crazy profits uh yeah of pogamania they got whatever alan rapinski paid him and that was it yeah so they <clears throat> sue uh to prevent manufacturers from using the pog name on any packaging marketing materials because they don't want the drink associated with the gambling kind of stories that oh, are going around interesting the kitty gambling stories um mm. and actually they they go so far as to switch from bottles to cartons so they don't make the caps anymore because they don't want to even make the caps they don't want to be associated with it oh that's interesting uh, so okay. all of this sort of compounds you do get a couple companies um like tazos uh-huh. and whammer slammers that try to like mm. kind of keep it going, but I wonder if Whammer Slammers is still around making other things, or if that was just their main Whammers gig. and or Slammers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm I, probably. I'm thinking went under. I'm, I'm thinking they probably yeah, like yeah. a leather shop in Arizona. Yeah. They that's were open right. for about they, they in business, business for like in two weeks, weeks in 1996, mm-hmm. and that's it. Yeah, yeah. And so it. as quickly as they had risen to the heights of mainstream popularity. Um, by like 97, 98, it was yeah. dead, like complete, like completely a, dead, like a pog in the wind, like a pog in the wind. And then we all, uh, have a bunch of these things right here. Yeah. And, and now, now we, we just, have, which is why they you aren't know, very boxes of them at our mom's eBay. houses or, mm-hmm. you know, in closets or whatever, along yeah. with our slap bracelets and, and our Tamagotchis mm. and all that other good stuff that yeah. came and went. Yeah. Oh man, I hope somebody listening has a Rodney Dangerfield pog, and they're gonna contact us about. Don't worry, I'm gonna about their Rodney Dangerfield pog. Some research. Yeah, um, but that's out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a it was a flash in the pan. It was a fun time. It was an easy game, um, and it was kind of one of those things where, unlike some games and toys, they were really really cheap. So like. Anybody could have uh-huh. them. You know, it wasn't something that, like, maybe, you know, richer kids had, like, a game system sure. or something like that. Like, everybody could have Pogs. Yeah. I mean, because people, people were giving them away for free. Listen, if you wanted some Pope Pogs, just, just go, go to the church. Catholic they'll give you church. some Pope Pogs. They'll be like, I'll they'll get... give you one per service as the body of Christ. Well, so but you if could you be want them, them that you don't have to eat, you could probably. I mean, That's true. Just, they, got, they made 50000 They would just a sack full of them. Yeah, yeah. There's probably just like a little bowl of them when you walk in, like next to the holy water, and you could just take like a little treat. Yeah. Oh, for me. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean, anybody could get pogs. So I think it was universal. Um. So like we said, one rule. Yeah. Like it's not a complicated game to learn. Um. If you've got if you've got a buddy and you've got a hard surface to play pogs on, yeah. well then. You've, but you've ultimately, it. by it. its very nature, you know, these these yeah. things like these are are fleeting, and especially as in, yes. you know, Alan Rupinski and the whole the the owner of the trademark and all that sort of giving everybody license, like, it yeah, just... he oversaturated it. I mean, it was yeah, just like yeah. completely. Which I guess he probably just went in there and made a shitload of money, and then was and like, bye, and. Well, well, it's funny, yeah. Can- Canadian Game Company, which you, you talked about earlier, that was uh-huh. uh, making them, uh, 97, they're out of business. So... I sh- I'm shocked. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, it, like yeah. It, it, it bottomed them out. I wonder where old Alan Rapinski is now. I don't know. Where are you, Pog hmm. Man? In his house <laughs> built of Pogs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> house hmm. of Pogs. That was a, that was a good show. Yeah. yeah, that was good. <laughs> Till that one guy did that thing, and that last season just wasn't yeah. the same. Yeah, on old House of Pogs. <laughs> I've actually never seen an episode of House of Cards in my entire uh, life, so I don't. I watched know. the first season. Yeah. yeah, it is good. Would it have been better with Pogs? Yeah. Oh, yeah, hundred percent. Everything. Everything. Everything's a little better if you have Pogs. Now, now the real question, Justin, is: Should we make some Cool Kids Club Pogs? Yes, hundred percent. That's not um, even a real question. Yes, obviously. Okay, okay, okay. Listener, dear listeners, um, do you all want some Cool Kids Club Pogs? Yes, maybe, maybe we, we do. Maybe it's not, 
Yes. Uh, maybe we need to not rely on the younger generation. Um, I'll be. On- they're too busy ticking Listen, in and talking. I'll be honest, though. Maybe we should. Uh, when I when we uh, posted uh, <clears throat> earlier this week and announced that this was yeah. going to be the topic of our new episode. Um, Man, mm-hmm. we got like a really big response from Instagram and from we Twitter. Did. Like a lot of people were excited to hear about Pogs. Like for yeah. as quickly as it was, a, you know, came, came and, and went. went. Like it's yeah. something like people are so passionate about, and I feel like it's one yeah. of those things that like, like what are just the most '90s things? Because I mean, it really mm-hmm. it came and went so fast that it was not part of like Pogs or any, any other, other era. decade. Came right in the middle of the yeah, decade, any other era. And was just right. like yeah. here and then gone, and we all had them, and we all did it. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I, it was just it was fun, and I think people for something that wasn't that popular for very long, people look back on it really fondly. Yeah, clearly. Yeah, and I bet, and like you said, I bet a lot of people still have all their pogs or some of their. If pogs. you've got pog picks, send us your pog picks. Yes. Oh my god. Please. Send Pog, Send picks, Pog please. picks, please. There really isn't much of a legacy to talk about because they haven't made yeah. any sort of comeback. Yeah. There was like one attempt. Um, they interestingly they use they've used them. Uh, the military uses kind of similar Pog things as like a currency overseas for like a like really? military department store. Um, that are they still use them? Apparently, they're like collectible. Interesting. Um, oh, that's there cool. was an attempt by a company called. Do you think they have like? Pictures of Jim Carrey and like skulls and stuff on them. Um, yeah, as far as I know, they do. Yeah, I'm sure okay, that's great. what it is. Cool. I'm yep, sure I it's like so, a holographic yeah. Ghost Rider. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I would hope so. If anyone's in the military and has used these, please let us yeah. know. In 2005, there was an attempt by a company called Funrise. Uh, they got mm-hmm. the trademark. And they were like, we're going to relaunch it. It's going to be a thing, and we're going to reboot mm. it. And they had some promotional events, and then it never went anywhere, and then they lost the trademark. Not bi- not enough time had passed, I don't think, for that to be... 2005, no. Like, retro. No. Not even 10 years since it went under, really. Yeah, so, yeah it's too too early. Yeah. Too early. Too early, yeah. But now... It might work now. I think we're... I think we're certainly far enough away. Uh, yeah. I think society is just uh, ripe for a pog comeback. Up, up, up. Pog, r- pognonissance? A pognonissance. That's a, that's a, that, pognonissance. That's okay a pognonissance. A pognonissance. A pognonissance. Well, I'm really excited that you guys um, seem to seem to be really responsive to this as a topic, and I hope that you guys enjoyed the episode. Send and pog picks. Send yeah, pog send picks. pog picks. Yeah, um, yeah please do see them tag things. us in all of... All of your pog picks. I do want to see them yeah. things. Let them hang out. Um, uh, yeah, I do. Ha- I have a couple things that I I do in addition to this. Why don't you I tell us about them? I have I have one thing. Tell us about uh, it. I have a I have a YouTube channel uh, called Amy Reads. My name is spelled A I M E E, and uh, I read books and I talk about them. And uh, you can find me on uh, Instagram and Twitter at Amy Reads TN. Those are just my personal accounts if you want to follow me over there. Um, and what about you, Justin? Uh, well, you can uh, follow uh, us on social media. Oh, well, yeah, you can follow yeah. us, of course. I mean, I'll mention the podcast first. That we're doing right now, the one that we're yes. recording? Yeah, as opposed okay, to, you know, I'll cool. save our personal brands until after. Okay, I'm a little rusty. You are a little rusty today. Sick. I'm a little rusty, yeah. yeah. You can yeah. find... This is my first day back at work today. It's just, I've had to use my brain more than I've had to in the last, like, six days, so... Right. So, forgive me. Anyway, you can follow us. You can us follow us on social media. As a podcast. Uh, well, you can find us on social media at uh, Cool Kids Club Pod uh, on Instagram or Twitter. Uh, search for us on Facebook, Cool Kids Club Podcast. Um, you can follow me, personally, um, on Instagram or Twitter at Lousy with Ghosts. Uh, and I have the occasional wrestling podcast that I do. Uh, you can find that. It's called Blue Bard Cage. Uh, you can find that wherever you found this podcast. Yeah. And also, we want to thank um, the wonderful composer of our... An, art- an artiste. Super rad. Really. Yeah, an artiste. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Um, of our of our really cool theme super song, cool. Um, Mr. Brian Wakefield. It is super cool. Um, and you can find uh, all the cool things that Brian does on his website, 
brianwakefieldmusic.com. That is that is correct? correct? All right. Awesome. Uh, so thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, and uh, until next time, what should they do? Well, they should probably just go ahead and stay cool. Yeah. Just go. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta. You just got. I'm going to do gotta it. You gotta stay cool. You gotta do it. I'm going to. I am too. So go ahead and just stay cool. That body hot as lava. Pogs and slammers. Pogs and slammers. When we come together, it's like cardboard. Pogs and slammers, pogs and slammers. When I met her on the sidewalk, she was throwing down. She had a skull and crossbones and an evil clown. I whipped out my disc and presented it with pride. A single tear formed at the